Hello everyone, um, hopefully in this video I can show you how to get your SFML to work in SeedLion. Um, I found it very easy and very simple, so hopefully I'm going to be able to recreate that for you today. So right here we have this website, the SFML, right? And this is where you're going to download your SFML. What you're going to want to do is you wanna, you're going to want to download one of these down here, okay? Um, either the 64 or the 32 bit most likely you're running a 64 bit system um, you can double check that though and then you're going to want to re-download your MinGW so if you download it it's going to come to here it's going to send you to here you're going to want to download this okay they're going to come right here okay so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open these up right which I'm opening up on a second monitor but that's okay so you're going to want to open them up, okay? So it's going to look something like this, okay? So what you're going to want to do is you want to take these files, okay? And in your downloads, open up this right here, okay? And then in your downloads, you're also going to want to download the... Let me see if I can pull this up. The certain WinZip. Let me get this here this link right here and you're gonna want to download the 7 zip uh, 64 bit system right if you're on 64 bit obviously um, so once you download this as well you're gonna want to run over here and you're gonna pull up your downloads again and you're gonna use 7 zip extract files right and you're gonna want to extract them somewhere um, I extracted them to my desktop um, if you hit desktop and you go to, I just made, made it project three, you can see they're in there now. Um, so I made it project three and I moved them to the project three file. So right here we have these files, right? So ideally now what we want to do is we want to put that on our main system. So now what we're going to do so we're going to go to here, we're going to go to this PC, and you want it on your main drive. So we're going to put it on our C drive right here, and you're going to take these files from here, right, and you're just going to drag and drop them into here. I would recommend renaming these, though, to SFML, right? Well, actually, what's inside, but I already, moved, I already removed what's inside. But And you're going to want to probably rename this to MinGW or MinGW64, whatever you need, right? Make it something you're going to remember because now, now that they're here, okay, this is when you open up your C line, which hopefully you've installed by now. Um, this is all the code. We've been given this code. We can use this code. And then this is the C make that you're going to need as well. Um, hopefully, um, our, I will remember to put this in as needed. Um, but Nonetheless, so what you're going to want to do is hit Control alt s This is going to pull this up, and then you're going to want to go to Tool Chains. If you don't know how to get there, type in Tool Chains. It's going to pull up this. Right here is going to be your tool set, okay? You can modify this by clicking on this and changing what you want it to be. You want to change it to the version you just installed, right? So once you've done this, and you've put this in here, you now have this, okay? You're going to want to accept this, right? And so now, what this is going to do is it's going to be able to read your files from there. And as you can see here, this is how this is working currently. So, with this being said, um, now, if I go to my main, with all of this right here, and all of this make list right here, I hit run, I now get this, which is the expected output that we're supposed to receive. So hopefully... Um, let me look back over and make sure I didn't gloss over anything too catastrophic because there is a possibility that I did so. Um, I do not believe so, but as long as you set all of this up, it can be a little bit confusing at first. But once you get all this set up, um, it's super easy. It's really not difficult. Um, Naming the files is probably one of the best things to do so that you know what files you're moving from point A to point B. But once you get all that set up, 
Um, it should look like this. Um, if it doesn't, feel free to comment, or if you are in the Discord, reach out to me on the Discord. Uh, that will also work. Uh, I will try to help as many people as humanly possible with this, because I struggled with Visual Studio Code, but for some reason, Sea Lion, no problems at all. So, reach out to me if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer.